Alright gamers, what's going on? Insanity coming at you today with some free-for-all gameplay on the map Lockdown. And as you can see, I actually came into this match about four, four and a half kills down. And, uh, I, I do come out and win in the end. It's just I, uh, when I get more or less towards the end and I, I start getting that feeling of, oh yeah, I got this, I got this, I, I just let myself die a few times and that's no, that's never a good thing, so... Today what I wanted to go ahead and talk about was this new uh, policy that Microsoft just put out about all the Microsoft Studio game uh, t products and titles and copyrights and all that stuff about people, you know, on YouTube and on Twitch TV and all these places where they're partnered and, and making money off of, you know, all these games like Halo and Gears of War and stuff like that. And how pretty much it's no longer going to be allowed. Are we going to be allowed to you know, make videos and make commentary still? Of course we are. We just cannot monetize those videos. We can't make videos and try and do profit or make any money from any of it. Uh, it just has to be for viewing pleasure and for leisure and all that good stuff, which, which really sucks. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, only play Halo or only play, you know, uh, Gears of War is is another big one, but I mean, all for the Call of Duty community. This does not affect you, and which that's, that's that's another reason why I chose to uh, to play Call of Duty today was because this is one of those few games that it's not going to affect. And with Black Ops Two coming out in just about you know thirty two days now, yeah, it's the eleventh. Uh, I can definitely say it's going to be upsetting. And it's going to piss off a lot of people, especially those who are, you know, like game battles and MLG people that play constantly on Twitch TV. Uh, you're you're going to miss out on a lot of profit. You know, you're, you're really not going to be able to uh, to make any extra dough just from playing the game that you enjoy playing or that you're good at. Um, you, you may have to change over to something else like uh, Medal of Honor. It comes out, you know, later this month and... Maybe you're you're gonna get interested in that, or maybe you'll jump on all the Call of Duty bandwagon, you know, with Black Ops 2 and the new COD casting feature, and maybe you'll just wanna, you know, do the COD casting part and not actually play. There's gonna be a lot of people, you know, that are gonna make, you know, commentary videos and stuff just from doing that and dual comms and all that fun stuff. So as it stands, there's not too much Besides that, that, you know, people are going to be able to do, there's going to be no way to fight it. Uh, you can't even try and, you know, use something like uh, playwire.com and, you know, get your videos posted there and try and, you know, run the ads. I mean, they will find you. They will track you down. And, you know, if they, if they don't get you just to remove the videos the, or the monetiz monetization or anything else, they may just make sure you get a nice fat lawsuit, you know, you never know. Microsoft isn't exactly a company you want to mess with, you know, they could ban your gamer tag, it could ban your console. There's a lot of different things that, you know, they can do to make sure that they get the last laugh and you take the fall for whatever it is that you're doing. <clears throat> um but when it comes to Halo 4, uh that that's another interesting topic it's uh october 11th and the game comes out november the 6th so you know we're, we're less than 30 days away but there's a lot of people on xbox live that's already playing halo 4 apparently uh just below me i'm in uh texas by the way in the good old mexico you know uh apparently there's been some stolen and sold discs already um there's been some leaked pictures of the discs and the main menu and all that stuff already going on the internet so if you're a big fan of the halo series and you're ready for master chief's big return then you really need to try and stay off a lot of different gaming forums and watch out for what you're picking on uh when you're scrolling through the youtube channels because you never know what you're going to find you know microsoft is all about you know taking these videos down and hitting them up with copyright uh, strikes and everything else but you never know stuff can happen at any time and you can run into something that you don't want to see and 
as we get closer into this holiday season where games just come out every week, you know, with Medal of Honor, Assassin's Creed, Need for Speed, WWE 13, uh, Halo 4, then Call of Duty, and, you know, it's just, it's nonstop. There's there's going to be new games every week, and they're going to get leaked early just because they got to do these shippings, the shipments early, you know, I mean, they, they got to make sure they can stay on track with all these extra copies, and a game like Halo, you know they're going to ship it early to make sure they get you know, the the right amount and the quantity out to all the stores. Uh, same with Call of Duty. So if you're a big, you know, campaign person and you don't want to get the story spoiled for yourself, be sure to try and, you know, be aware of what you're looking at online. If you notice something's not right, and if you notice, hey, check out this new leaked Halo 4 footage, I mean, do, do you really want to go click on that? Really? I mean, hell, it was one thing when there was leaked footage from, like, you know... June or July, when it was still around E3 time, and there was a bunch of, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that no one got to see. Yeah, that was cool. You know, you could do that back then, I mean, but now, with the official game being released out to the public, and as you can see there, I, uh, I did take the win. You really need to be aware of what's going on. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and, you know, my little opinion on the Microsoft policy and everything... This is Insanity, and I will catch you guys next time.